Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am doing a video idea by one of my good friends, Jess. I was running out of ideas and I didn't want to do another makeup video. I haven't really been enjoying them that much and I don't want to be putting stuff out there that I don't enjoy filming and editing and that I know that I'm not going to be completely like 100% in love with that video because I feel like that's just putting videos out there for the sake of uploading. I'm going to be doing 25 random acts of kindness that you guys can do during quarantine. I do know that some places in the world, New Zealand is back open and running like normal. And then obviously I know that we're still, the UK is still in a really strict lockdown where you can only go to, I think two other households and see up to six people. So yeah, the majority of these are lockdown friendly. But when she told me, I was like, wow, that is such a good idea because there is so much hatred in this world right now so much it really 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 needs the change and i know there's a lot of people feeling really lonely and sad and depressed and anxious and all sorts at the moment you know i'm one of them so i completely get it but there's also a lot of people that can actually help and do really nice things and maybe some of these and or maybe all of these you have thought of doing yourself or you've heard of people say but I just knew that if I made this video, then it would make me, one, feel better for doing it and giving people ideas that they might not have thought of before, they might have never heard before. So we're just gonna get into this video. My first one is ring a friend or a family member um, and then I've put next to it, do a care package, write them a letter or go and even sit two meters apart from them. So meet them at a park, meet them outside their house on their porch and just stay two meters apart. The second one I would say offer to pick up groceries for your neighbor. Maybe they're elderly, maybe they're not elderly. Maybe they have a disability or maybe they just feel really anxious to go out and, they, and they're scared and they're overwhelmed with this whole coronavirus. Maybe they don't want to go out. Even just saying, oh, I'm going to the shop, do you want me to get you anything? I know neighbors around my area do that. You don't have to be elderly for you to ask. They can be my age and you can still go, look, do you want anything I'll pop them to the shop? Or maybe you've noticed they haven't been going out in a while. Check up on them and just say, hi, how are you? The third one is offer to walk your neighbor's dog. Obviously still stay the two meters apart. And I was humming and hiring whether to actually include it because how would you do two meters apart from a dog? And obviously that dog is then theirs, but I think it, I think it could work. I'm gonna leave that one in in case. I'm a bit hesitant on that one. Tell your family how much you love them. Tell your family how much you appreciate them. Whether it's your older brother who absolutely does your head in because all he does is stay in his room and creates a mess in the kitchen. Maybe just turn around and hug him. Say to your mum, mum, I really love you and I really respect you. Or do it in your little way or find a little way that you want to do it without actually saying I love you. Buy them flowers for no reason. Or go to the shop and go and buy them a box of chocolates and say, I know these are your favourite chocolates. I know I do that to my mum. I go and buy orchids because she loves orchids. And I'll just go to Tesco and buy like an orchid and come back and go, Mom, I got you flower. And she's like, oh my God, for no reason. For no, it's not a birthday, it's not a Mother's Day gift, it's not a Father's Day gift. I know Father's Day's coming up, but buy your mum flowers, buy your dad flowers, you know, buy your granddad flowers. Do little things out for no in particular reason. Take time to play with your pets. Um, I know that can be a really like, well, obviously that's why I have a pet. Surprisingly, a lot of people don't actually take care of their pets. A lot of people have pets for show, for Facebook, for Instagram posts, you know? Yeah, take time just to play with them for five minutes out of your day. Volunteer in your local area. This is a really good one for the moment because there's a lot of companies and businesses who actually need help. I read on the news today, Welsh Council are looking for over 300 cleaners to clean schools because all the schools are going back in a few weeks and they need cleaners. And I mean cleaners that clean the toilets every time a pupil uses it, cleaners who clean the school every single day after it closes, you know, like deep cleaned because of the virus. Volunteer guys. And it also looks good on a CV. Make a donation to a random charity. You know, you might donate to um great ormond street hospital it might be your one because you've had family in there or donate to a charity you've never donated to before smile to the person sitting next to you on the bus or even start a conversation and even if it's just a hi are you okay and they go yeah or nod or wave or do something where it makes them go oh, i'm gonna have a good day today people are starting to go back to work now some people might feel anxious to go back to work just go 
oh yeah, you're right, or, you know, you're off to work, and then they say, oh yeah, you know, it's my first day back after three months, and you just say, oh, have a really good day, you know, and it can set them up to have a really, really good day, and not make them feel as anxious as they were five minutes before you spoke to them. I know I do that on the bus, and I know that people do it to me, and it makes me feel lush. Help someone if you can see they're struggling. So say if you're at your Tesco's and you can see someone struggling, maybe just be like, are you all right, do you want any help? I know a lot of people that don't like people asking them even how they are, because it makes them feel uncomfortable. So I think we live in a society where you know you want to do something like that, but you're a bit like, oh, are they going to like it? Well, you're not going to know unless you try. You know, they're not going to bite your head off. Um, so just say, do you want any help? And if they say, no, I'm okay. Like if my granddad got asked, he'd be like, no, I'm fine. I'm fine, don't help, you know, because that's just him. He's ask, it's gonna get you a lot further in life than it won't, so. If you see rubbish on the street, why don't you pick it up? I saw a man the other day and he left Tesco and he was taking something out of his wallet. About five pieces of paper followed him and he just went like this. And I just went behind him and started picking it up. I was like, why are you not picking your own litter up? So yeah, pick up litter. I mean, start, may, may, maybe do it around your local area at like 5 p.m. Um, when you know like the day is ending and just start picking up all the litter. I know people do it around my area and I literally get so inspired. I'm like, that's so lovely. I mean, they don't work for the council. They're just a family who take their kids out and they show them, look, this is litter and this shouldn't be happening and they pick up all the litter and I just love it. So hold the door open for someone. I know we can't really be in close contact with people. I know some people are still working. So obviously if you're still working in an enclosed environment like McDonald's or a call center, then you're obviously gonna be working around people. Say if you open the door and you can see someone coming, just hold it. What's two seconds, you know? Be a good listener. You know, if someone says, look, I'm really struggling, say, look, I've got ears. I might not be able to give you a hug, but I've got ears and I can always listen. You drive into McDonald's drive through you go, hi, how are you? How's work? How's, you know, how's, how's your day going? What time do you finish? Just like little things like that. And that can make them again, feel so good. Feel less anxious about even being in work in the first place. Go so. on your phone and choose five people that you haven't spoke to in over a month. Send them a positive message. Cause again, it'll make you feel good, but it also make them feel good. And actually now guys, just say, hi, hope you're okay. Haven't spoken in a while, but just wanted to check up on you. If you don't get a reply, you tried. If you get a reply, way. Hey. A huge one is practice self-love. Um, I think everyone gets caught up in so much stuff in life that we actually forget that we are the most important person in this entire planet. Like do something that you always wanted to do and do it because you want to do it, not because someone's telling you not to do it. So always practice self-love. Maybe just sit in the front of a mirror and go, I look good today. My skin looks really flawless. Like all of our drinking water has been really, really good. I'm gonna keep doing that. And just little things like, I was literally looking down, like I was looking into a mirror. Little things like that will literally make you feel so, so amazing. And if you've had a really shitty week and it's been full of anxiety or depression or loneliness, just doing that can help. I did it the other day, hand on my heart. I was fine 10 minutes later. Okay. Again, it goes back to helping people. So if you're in the line and you can see someone's got a really heavy basket, just stand away and just go, do you wanna go in front of me? Cause I can see you're struggling. Then if you see that person outside the shop and you can see they're really struggling, no matter what age they are, again, if they're 20 or if they're 80, just say, are you, are you, you know, are you walking that up to the um, taxi rank or, to the bus, I'm walking that way. Do you want me to help you? Do you want me to grab a bag for you? Or do you want me to uh, walk up to the car with you and pop it by your car? Maybe if you've got gloves, again, you've still got to be thing with social distancing and touching other people's things, I get it. Or maybe just like put hand sanitizer on, pick up the shopping bags, drop them by the car and put more hand sanitizer on. Even offer them hand sanitizer. Little things to you can be a massive deal to someone else. Reconnect with old friends. Again, if you've fallen out with someone because something stupid happened 10 years ago or something happened stupid happened two years ago and deep down in your heart you forgive them message them and just say like hi i just wanted to i literally just wanted to send you a message just to say how you are we're hope you're okay hope lockdown's okay maybe make a joke or two and that's it if you get a reply you get a reply if you don't you don't but you've tried so make dinner for your family this also goes on to my next one 
clean up without being asked. If you know, don't wait till you get asked. Go, mum, do you know what? You're not cooking tonight, I'm gonna cook. Or, don't worry, I've got it under control. She's cooking, I'm cleaning up, you're drying up. And it's all volunteer at your local food bank. Go to Tesco, go and buy 20 tins of beans and just donate and just go, I've got 20 tins of beans. That's all you can afford. I wanna drop them off to the food bank. Food banks are struggling, guys. Personally, I've had to go to food banks before with my mum. Life is hard, money's hard. A lot of people are actually needing to go to food banks recently because people have lost jobs, which means they can't pay their bills, which means they can't buy food. Arrange to watch a film with your family or your friend um, on FaceTime. So if you FaceTime and just say, do you wanna watch Harry Potter later? And you can literally both switch it on if you're fortunate enough to have a laptop or a TV. Then you can just say, do you wanna watch Harry Potter? If they're having a bad day, but they don't want to be like, oh, look, I'm having a bad day today because they feel like they just don't want to tell you because they're always having bad days, that can lighten up their day. And if you're one of those people who, your friend rings you up, Jenna rings you up, and you're like, yeah, I'm fine, I'm really fine. And then when the phone calls, you're like, actually, I'm really not fine. You know, when girls say we're fine, we're actually not, but I'm sure a lot of guys say that as well. If you know that your friend or one of your family members know deep down that they're not fine, I'm going to Tesco, I'm gonna go and buy some baking powder, some flour, some sugar, and I'm gonna go make them a cake. You know, even if you wanna wear gloves and a mask while doing this, deliver it to their porch. Don't even have to make them cake. Just go and literally deliver yourself. Ring up and go, look, do you wanna watch a film? Write them a letter or just say, you know I love you, I'm always here, I'm always on the end of the phone. If you ever need me, I'm always here. But I think that's a really important one because I, I know a lot of people say they're fine and they're not. They don't wanna like be like, oh no, I'm not okay because they're the type of person that don't wanna get you down. Um, I've been there myself, I know a lot of my friends have been there, but we're all here to support each other. It's like girls supporting girls, or well, the human race is supporting the human race. So let's all do our little bit and yeah. These two are like more for kids, but I guess anyone can do them. If you live with like siblings or you live with your cousins or you live with people who are like young and they have toys, maybe like look through their toys if they do, if they have a lot of toys and just go, we don't actually need all these toys. And should we donate some toys, um, kids? Should we like put some toys outside so other people and other kids and other parents who can't afford toys for their children can come here and they can pick up the toys for free. You can literally just leave them outside your front door with a huge sign saying for free. This goes on to my next one to encourage kids to look after wildlife. You feed the birds, put water out. It can be a really fun activity. You can get up and say, kids, we're doing this every single day. We're going to go out in the garden and we're going to go and feed the birds. You can get fat balls from Amazon. You can get fat balls from, I think, Tesco, Asda. All the supermarkets do fat balls for birds. You can get creative. You can build your own little bird houses with the kids. I think teaching little ones to like give back. You don't have to feed an animal that is your pet. You, you, you have to look after things that aren't yours, which is wildlife, the planet we live on, guys. You know, teach kids to look after the planet and also look after the birds that come to your house every day. Without birds, then would we be here? My last one is just smile and people will more likely ask you if you need help, if you're struggling and do all these little acts of kindness that I've mentioned. I also understand that if you haven't had a good day, smiling can be one of the hardest things on this planet. I get it. I've been there myself. So, so I think with the world at the moment being full of hate and all these protests happening with Black Lives Matter and, and coronavirus and loneliness and social distancing and the government and politics and all these things that we just can't wait to <sighs> one day. I think just these little things that people just forget, like ask someone how their day is. But now we're all in lockdown. We should just, even if you do one of these in your entire life, something good that you can make yourself feel. It's like killing two birds with one stone. You do something nice for someone else and it also makes you feel nice. So. Let's do more of these random acts of kindness and comment down one thing in the comments that you're going to do today or that you're going to do tomorrow or that you have already done. If you've got any more ideas, comment them down in the comments. Let's make a little community down in the comments if you like and give each other little ideas and let's just spread love guys because spreading love is free. Spreading hate costs you time.
keep smiling, keep signing your petitions guys, and stay safe. And I will see you in my next video. Bye! Keep smiling! <laughs>